Hello friends, welcome again. This is Raj and I hope you are doing great. In this video, I'm going to explain you the candlestick patterns that I personally use. There are a lot of patterns, uh, candlestick patterns, but I generally use only three, uh, which I'm going to explain you now. And also the common mistakes done by uh, the beginners who learn candlestick patterns. So uh, these are very minor mistakes, but still make a huge difference when you're trading. Before that, please make sure to like this video, comment if you have any doubts and also subscribe to this channel to learn more videos about this. Okay, friends, so whatever I teach you in this particular video, uh, it's not going to be a theoretical or bookish knowledge. Uh, these are the candlestick patterns that I per personally use uh, for swing trading. And uh, I'm not going to teach you everything that is available in the candlesticks. It's going to be like three or four candle patterns that I personally use, which is what I'm going to teach you now. Okay, uh, so the first mistake that the beginners do I'm going to explain you the uh, mistakes that beginners do first so that uh, we can go ahead with the explanation. Okay, uh, these candlestick patterns first works only in higher time frame. Uh, you should not use these candles in one, uh, one uh, 15 minutes or uh, you know 30 minutes or one hour time frame. Uh, these candles are supposed to be used in one day or one week is way better. Uh, one day is also fine. Other mistakes that beginners do is they try to use this pattern when a particular uh, stock is in sideways trend. So uh, be it morning star pattern, be it bullish engulfing pattern, be it a hammer pattern, it should always happen after a particular trend. If it's a bullish engulfing, it should happen after a downtrend and if it's a bearish engulfing, it should happen after an uptrend. These small things will uh, make a huge difference in the trading. Uh, it's not about the entire strategy, the small small things that you learn uh, is going to make a huge difference in the way you trade because uh, the more you learn uh, the more you uh, neglect stocks so the more you learn the more you uh, refine your stock selection that uh, in turn helps you in picking the right stock make sure that you use it in higher time frame and also please make sure that it happens after a trend the particular candle happens after a trend so uh, the first thing uh, i use is not first thing i mean the, let's look at the first uh, cat uh, candle pattern uh, which is bullish engulfing uh, basically i'll just put the drawing at the right side in graphics uh, but i will also draw it here a uh, bullish engulfing let's say our stock is going down and uh, a red color candle is formed here okay and the next day it should open slightly lower than the previous candle okay and uh, and also close than the previous high it should basically engulf the previous candle this green candle should engulf the red candle this is a bullish uh, sign okay so uh, example let me check okay so this is the perfect example of uh, bullish engulfing if you look at it this uh, particular candle started from the bottom and also engulfed the previous uh, previous red candle and uh, this is a clear downtrend and after that you can see that the stock moved very nicely let's see how much it moved almost 28 percent which is more than enough and uh, this is the perfect example of bullish engulfing and uh, it is the opposite of bullish engulfing is uh, bearish engulfing so this happens after a trend and uh, small okay wait so basically an uptrend a small green candle I mean it's not necessary that it has to be a uh, small uh, green candle it can be also a huge uh, green candle just that the next red candle should engulf the previous red uh, green candle okay and this is a bearish sign okay this may not look like a candle but uh, pardon my uh, pathetic drawing um, so uh, whatever uh, like if a red candle engulfs a green candle after a uh, you know good trend uh, that is considered as a bearish uh, 
uh, you know engulfing and the stocks the stock is expected to go down after that so let me check okay this is not a perfect one this is not a perfect bearish engulfing but it is something that i found now so that okay so uh, it gapped up and then it also tried to fully engulf but it did not fully engulf okay uh, that is something that you have to make sure that it's fully engulfed but nevertheless uh, the stock has gone down because this is after an uptrend and uh, it is nicely engulfed just that the wicks are also not engulfed uh, that is just more confirmation okay so a uh, bullish engulfing bearish engulfing examples are very well explained um let's look at the percentage 14 percentage almost so the thing is uh, uh you will not find the candle as similar as uh, what is referenced in the book it is not going to form exactly like the book it, there is going to be some difference so just make sure uh, you know uh, be little flexible whenever you are looking at the candles but you should also know the difference okay let's go to uh, the next pattern uh, that i commonly use is hammer pattern hammer pattern it's the same story uh, it has the stock has to go down and the thing is you the stock opens okay and what happens it goes down drastically and then comes back right again to the same price where it opened or above that okay uh, above the open if it closes above the open it is a very bullish sign even if it is little below the close that is completely fine okay uh, the perfect is it has uh, it must have green i mean it must close above the open so uh, the let me look i think in idfc so this is the perfect example after a downtrend a hammer pattern has happened uh, people call it as pin bar also so you can call it whatever you want uh, pin bar or uh, hammer and look at it a very beautiful move after a Uh, so here this particular candle it has closed right where it opened so which is a good sign uh, the better sign is when it oh, closes above the open okay with no wick above that is like a perfect candle of hammer uh, so this is hammer pattern example uh, another thing is shooting star shooting star this wow uh, this could be an example uh, after a uptrend uh, if the wick is more guys that is more confirming uh, here the some people what generally uh, the beginners would do is even they consider small small wick candles as shooting star like for example they will take this as a shooting star or small small candles they consider that as a shooting star no um, that's where the mistake is happening uh, the the key is to find a shooting star pattern with a very good huge wick at the top um yeah so this can be considered as a shooting star and look at it it fell very nice and uh, yeah uh, bearish engulfing uh, bullish engulfing is done bearish engulfing is done hammer is done um, shooting star is done uh, the other thing is morning star pattern morning it's very simple again a downtrend a red candle okay the next day a doji should form doji i hope you guys know what is doji doji is nothing but an indecision candle when a market when a stock opens and then goes up goes down and then again close at the same place where it opened which means both the buyers and sellers have no clue as to where the stock might go or you know they i have no idea so that is called indecision candle right i mean the doji candle so uh what's uh, in morning star pattern what's happening here is a red candle has to form and then a uh, indecision candle and after that an identical green candle should form i mean not identical like uh, the equal size okay the equal size of the red candle in green color 
i mean when i say green color like it should open here it should close here okay so this is green color uh, this is red color so morning star pattern uh, happens after a downtrend and when this happens the stock is expected to go up uh, basically i can show you some example which is uh, igl i remember with this because i traded this last year this is the only morning star pattern that i could uh, think of where i took a trade based on morning star pattern so this is the thing uh, a very good downtrend a beautiful red candle a doji and then a same size of green candle so sometimes what happens uh, there will be like this the red candle will not be as equal as this and this is not a perfect morning star uh, pattern just to make sure that it is at least 75% of this previous red candle okay and look at the move the next is evening star pattern it is the opposite of morning star pattern this happens after a, a good trend and uh, uptrend and similarly a green candle should form and then a indecision candle which is a doji and then again a green candle which is of equal size of the red candle and then the downtrend starts okay i do not have an example i have not personally <laughs> traded in uh, uh, probably i forgotten about it or uh, i have not traded either one um let's see if there is anything i could find so i could not find the evening star pattern uh, it is as uh, the opposite it is exactly the opposite of the uh, morning star and uh, so let's go to the next one that i commonly use is tweezer bottom tweezer bottom or tweezer top so tweezer bottom is same uh, nothing a green candle and the low the next candle should start at the same place where the green candle sorry the red candle uh closed okay this is the red candle or okay and this is where it closed and this is a green candle this is where it opened this is green candle and this is where it opened and uh, it should close as similar as the open of the red candle so uh, this is open close open close so uh, this happens frequently in the market uh, for example uh, and again guys as i mentioned it will not be as same as the uh, you know the textbook knowledge so uh, just be little flexible okay so this particular uh, candle can be considered as tweezer top so basically uh, normally be it a bullish engulfing or a tweezer top normally how i trade is uh, where i find these patterns or uh, like uh, a superb uh, uptrend and then what happens that the stock will start to consolidate and after consolidation a very good tweezer top or a bullish engulfing will occur and that is when i enter so you can uh, incorporate the same method that i follow uh, here if you see the very good uptrend and then it consolidated a very good red candle and again a green candle which is equivalent to the red candle suggest that the stock could go up and which is what has happened so tweezer bottom okay make sure two candles or of equivalent size i think i traded in jubilion food uh, with the same concept you will not see that here uh, not jubilion food sorry uh, it's uh, hindustan unilever uh, this is weekly time frame uh, and uh, see look at it i'm as i mentioned um, candlestick patterns are one of the factors in deciding whether to take up a trade or not okay uh, i am not going to take a trade just because there is a morning star or a bullish engulfing so here i have taken two major 
uh, there are two major factors uh, which is it uh, the hindustan unilever is you know uh, taking supports at the trend line and uh, here there is a you know a perfect tweezer top right at the channel i mean the trend line so that this is like a confluence and uh, i i remember taking a trade here and uh, it went up you can go and check out the videos where i made in like i think it's 5 or 6 months back you can go and check it out uh, please don't ask me for proofs proofs so <laughs> not everyone guys it's just a uh, couple of people so yeah and uh, uh yeah uh, this is tweezer bottom and uh, tweezer top would be um like a beautiful uptrend is going on and then what happens a green candle and then again an equivalent size of red candle this is a, a bearish sign okay and the stock may go down uh so okay friends so i could not find the example for tweezer top you can go and uh, google it i'm sure you will find plenty of examples again uh, it will not be as similar as the textbook but uh, just be flexible and uh, yes as i mentioned candlesticks should not be considered as the only factor to take up a trade it should always be combined with other uh, techniques like uh, you know patterns and uh, other uh, price action methods and uh, Uh, please make sure to combine these to take up a trend so if you like this video and if you want to learn more price action strategies more price action advanced techniques you can definitely enroll to my membership where we share particular patterns also you will learn a lot of things you can check, just check out my website just for traders dot in all informations are there and uh, yeah uh, pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this session uh, it's been a long time since i posted something about the you know the basic stuff i don't think i posted anything for candlestick it's like it's been like one and a half years since i started this youtube channel and i've not made a video on candlestick so i thought i would do it uh i think it will be uh, very helpful for beginners so uh, please let me know if you like this video and uh, make sure to like this video also subscribe to this channel for uh, awesome content like this Uh thank you so much for watching with patience see you soon with another video